Hi, Blaine here. Install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description and unlock all seasons of our story rekindled heartache. Mom, you better have an explanation for your behavior tonight. Is he gone? <sighs> Tell me, what's going on between Ziva and him? Ziva had a crush on him, but he... He couldn't care less. Mom, he's not interested in her. But why did you behave that way with him? Just because he's a senator's son? Since when do you discriminate against people based on their money? I didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like that man, and... I want you and your sister to stay away from him and his family. I don't care what your feelings are towards him. I don't want to see him with either of you again. Mom, you can't just hate him for nothing. And are you going to tell me what's going on? You heard me. I don't want us to be associated with that man unless you want to see my wrath. I hope I've made myself clear. Zoe looked at her mom and could feel it in her bones that there was more to this than Gloria was willing to speak. But she didn't want to fight her mom. Zoe... Listen, me and your Aunt Shelley are worried about your future. Aunt Shelley has found a perfect match for you. He's a good man with a good education and character. Mom, seriously? How many times do I need to make myself clear? I don't want a man. Right now, I've got more important things to deal with than dating. I need to look after Max. That's what you've been doing for the past so many years. When will you care about your own self? When Max gets better. Oh, really? And when is that gonna happen? You just keep hoping that things are going to work out, but are they? Zoe, take your mom's advice and see the man. Don't waste your good years, please. I'm your mom and I'm worried about your future. I don't want that if suddenly one day, Max... Stop it, mom. I can't believe you. Don't ever say anything negative about my son. I will go on the date if that will make you happy, but not a word about Max. Saying that, Zoe left for the hospital. Why is Luna crying? I don't like you crying. Luna's sad, little Max. You're leaving us. How can I not cry? Luna and Max hugged each other while Zoe watched them with a smile. Max was all ready to leave with his mom when suddenly he stopped. Mommy, I almost forgot. I need to say bye to my favorite Dr. Dexter. Luna, will you please take him to Dr. Dexter? Luna nodded and took Max to Blaine, who was in his office. When Max walked in holding Luna's hand, Blaine was taken by surprise. Max! Hey, buddy. Come in. Dr. Dexter, I've come to say goodbye. Blaine was surprised. Luna understood the look on Blaine's face. There's a new experimental treatment plan being tested, and Max is going to participate in the clinical trials. He's being moved to that hospital. So, you're leaving, huh? Come on, give me a hug. There was a sudden sadness that surrounded Blaine when he hugged Max. Don't be sad, Dr. Dexter. You can come and see me whenever you want. And next month's my birthday. You're invited. I've got to go now. Mommy's waiting. <laughs> of course I'm going to come. You take care, buddy. See you soon. Max held Luna's hands and walked away as Blaine watched him. The next day, Blaine thought of inquiring about Zoe's relative and went to the help desk. Hey, I want to know if there's a patient here with the last name Fuller. Yes, he was on the 10th floor, but the patient was transferred yesterday. Just then, Zoe walked in. Zoe, Dr. Dexter's been asking about- Zoe, why did you get your relative transferred? This is the best hospital. Is this about money? Are you not using the card that I gave you? No, um, actually, we transferred to another hospital because there's a specialized doctor who has just joined there recently, so- Great, 
Let me know if money becomes an issue. Don't worry about it. Matthew has taken care of it. Blaine, I wish I could tell you that Max is your son, our son, but your mother, I can't even imagine her fury if I... Zoe could feel Blaine's eyes on her as she went on to sign some paperwork. She bid her farewell to Blaine and left quickly for her home. Mom, if the man is as good as Aunt Shelley describes him to be, then why doesn't she marry her own daughter off to him? Don't argue with me. The man is good, but he's a little older. But, Zoe, where do you find good men today anyway? Zoe didn't want to argue anymore and agreed to meet the man at a coffee shop. You must be Zoe. Zoe was going through the menu when she heard the voice. She looked up to greet the man, but was taken aback. The man was her mom's age. Um, yes, and you are Mr. Turner? The man sat in the chair, facing Zoe, and held Zoe's hands. Your hands are so soft. I, I must admit that you've maintained yourself pretty well. You don't look like a mother at all. In the street opposite the coffee shop, Jose and Blaine were exploring restaurants to have their lunch when Blaine's eyes fell on Zoe sitting with a creepy old man. There. We're having our lunch there. That's a coffee shop. That's not a place to have lunch. Follow me. Blaine walked into the coffee shop and Jose followed. When Zoe's eyes fell on him, he walked towards her with a cunning smile. Zoe? <laughs> what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Um, hi. Jose. Blaine. Are they your friends, Zoe? Hi, I'm Roger Turner, her boyfriend. Everyone narrowed their eyes at the word boyfriend, but Blaine's expression didn't change. He started to grit his teeth. <laughs> what did you say? There's some misunderstanding. I've only met Mr. Turner a few minutes back. He's definitely not my boyfriend. Don't be silly, Zoe. I know your situation. I know that you can't wait to get married, and after seeing you, neither can I now. Let's go back home and discuss our wedding dates with our mothers. Wedding? No, 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 there's clearly been a misunderstanding. I don't think- I really like you. Let, let's go home and talk. Roger got on his feet, but Zoe was still sitting. Roger grabbed Zoe's hand and started to pull her. Let go of my hand. Jose and Blaine were standing and watching the two of them. When Zoe asked Roger to let go of her hand and he didn't, Blaine slapped Roger. What? what the heck? Who are you? Roger quickly let go of Zoe's hand. Blaine held her hand and started to clean it with tissues. Zoe knew what Blaine was intending to do. What are you doing with my girlfriend's hand? Leave her hands. Dr. Dexter, that was a possessive move. Zoe, tell me, when did you develop such a bad taste in men? I see what's going on here. You're not the lonely woman your aunt described to me. You, you've your own male company. I've been lied to. You're not the pure woman I thought. Before Roger could finish, Blaine threw a glass of water on his face. Here, clean your filthy mouth with that water and get lost. How dare you? And you, Zoe, you just sat there and watched them insult your boyfriend like this. Wait till your mother and aunt hear about this. Roger hurriedly left and Zoe sat there anxiously thinking about what he just said. There's no way her mom could know of this. Zoe got on her feet and ran after Roger. Blaine was surprised to see Zoe's move and followed her to the street. Blaine held her hand and pushed her against a wall. What do you think you're doing? I need to talk to him. I need to tell him that this was all a joke and I- Before she could finish, Blaine grabbed her hand and pulled her to his car. What are you doing, Blaine? Where are you taking me? To my bed. Did you forget about your offer to sleep with me? Do you dare go? Has Blaine actually accepted Zoe's offer? What will be Zoe's next move? What will happen when Zoe's mom finds out that Blaine spoiled Zoe's date? Hi, Blaine here. Hope you're loving Recon of Heartache. Keep following us as we release new episodes of Recon of Heartache Season 1 on YouTube. If you wish to jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series, you can install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here. And to watch the full season one, click on the playlist.